Hello and welcome back. So in the last video you saw how to handle the list items using a list activity without creating a new event listener. In this video I want to talk about fragments. So why, why should we use fragments and why fragments are important. So let me give you an overview of fragments, what they are. So we'll start by discussing a scenario so that you get an idea about why we use fragments basically. If you see this uh, image, then you know, this is, a, this is a typical scenario where fragments can come in handy. So we have a mobile app, okay? And like the one we had earlier, where we were displaying a list of items. And what happens is when the user clicks on a particular item, say on the red color, then some details are displayed okay now consider the same app on a tablet okay so on a tablet you can display the list of items and then you have a lot of space left okay and how you can utilize that is like when the user clicks on an item then the details are displayed in the same screen okay so essentially what we are seeing is that this code which is displaying the details is being reused in both the scenarios okay so when you talk about a reusable code then fragments come into picture which make your app modular okay so you can create a fragment and use it with any activity okay so i can create a simple fragment which does some functionality or displays something and then I can attach the fragment to different activities. So that's where the fragments pitch in and it's really cool. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can create a simple fragment and we'll take it from there in the next videos. So creating a fragment is pretty straightforward. What you can do is you can simply go to file new and okay, sorry, you can go to your app, then do a new and it will give you an option of fragment. So we'll use a blank fragment for now. We are just trying to understand the basics. So you can call the fragment say item fragment. Okay. And uh, we are just dealing with a very basic fragment. So we don't need the factory methods and you know certain add-ons. We don't need it for now. So let's click on finish. And the studio will generate the fragment for us. And like you will see a fragment similar to an activity, a fragment also has a corresponding class and a corresponding layout. Okay. So if you see this, um, it, it has directly created and opened the file for us. So if you see here, you can see a certain errors because it's sync in progress. So this, the main class, the fragment class that extends the fragment super class. And you have just one method in here, which is on create view, which is similar to the create method we had in activity. And it just specifies the, the layout file that will be used for this fragment. And if you go to your layout file, it's similar to the activity layout file. And it's, it's just, ha it has an element as of now, which is the text view. So you should be able to view it in the design studio also. I mean in the in, in the design layout so if you see it just displays a text now the best part is that you can attach this fragment to any activity okay so you can have your code in here and you can keep on attaching it to different activities so which makes it reusable so in the coming videos we'll take it further uh, but I hope you get an idea about the fragment if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below or you can go to my GitHub account to view the source for this or go to my blog to view more details. So until next time, take care.